love bugs it's me loverly welcome back to my channel today we are again here with our um seasons family so we have rosa flint hazel and maple and they live in this little kind of run down beaten looking little <laughs> house it's very dreary and gloomy out today if you couldn't tell <laughs> um but yeah that's because it is actually like the last day of fall i think let's see yeah it's the last day of fall and then we're bam right into winter yeah these are winter so it's like because it says it's going to be sunny but it's sunny winter so that keeps throwing me off but um yeah today is overcast fall last day of fall so we are hoping that all these onions survive through the winter. Ooh, we can harvest them now, which is awesome. Yeah, um, uh, so they're all just sleeping. We're just going to go through until they uh, have high energy. Dad actually looks like he's pretty close to... Oh, look at the rain. Oh, it looks so cool. All right, anyway, um, we've got... Let's see, we've got lots of nice apples we need to harvest. We need to harvest all these apples. Um, we could weed and evolve these, but we probably shouldn't even bother, honestly. Um, now, today's weather, it is wet and rainy. Hopefully, he's okay going out there like that. I think the last time, I don't know. Last time he had some trouble, so he is not in the best mood, but you know, we have to get these apples harvest, all these apple trees harvested at least once because, you know, <laughs> uh, they're not going to survive the winter. So if you like scroll over here, it just says it's in season today. Um, and then I'm going to, I'm actually sort of curious what happens to these trees once you know the once the season turns once it turns to winter so we will be seeing that shortly um or like in the next part rather uh so you're sad can you not harvest these anymore harvest all the apples harvest all of them and then all of these like need weeding too but i don't know if i'm gonna bother with the weeding because he's already in such a grumpy mood it's like so frustrating <laughs> anyway um i don't know if i mentioned this in the last part but i had some trouble with like my headphones and the good news is they are they're the headphones that i just got and i was like really sad and concerned i was like oh my gosh these headphones are so great for a while and then they just started they just stopped working um but it turns out they 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 work fine actually because they're bluetooth headphones but the thing is when i have when I'm recording on my computer, I don't have Bluetooth. Uh, so, yeah, they work fine when I'm connected to my iPhone or my iPad. Like, I can hear in both ears and stuff. But what's happening, I realize, is the cord, because I have to plug it in and out, it, it's it's weird. So, yeah. <laughs> um, so, like, right now, I'm, like, having to hold it over so I can actually hear the sounds that are playing but not like there's anything really going on right now it's literally taking for him forever to get these apples harvested oh my gosh okay mama you're just standing there <laughs> she's in a happier mood oh look i love this she likes the rain great time in the rain from playing in the rain rosa is drenched but is having a blast in the rain and then he is uncomfortably wet <laughs> Well, how do we fix that? Is Were we supposed to give them little rain ponchos? Hey, that's their last name. Why didn't I get it? I guess because that's like a modern day invention, right? And we're trying to play it all old school. Hey. Oh, yeah. We have these little guys. I think... I think these guys are worth a lot of money, and I think we need money, or at least they're worth some money. So we're going to casually, no biggie, delete those guys. Now we have a thousand simoleons, so that's going to help us. Um, yeah, because we need to harvest everything over here. Harvest all these mushrooms. Sell mushrooms. Super sell. Well, yeah, we also need to get both of their gardening skills up. It is unfortunate it's raining, and like, when he's are you still 
I hope you are still getting those apples. Good. He's still harvesting those apples. Um, it's just taking him a while. And I don't really know what they're sad about. <laughs> this is kind of an interesting looking picture. Um, actually, I should... I want to get him, like, actually reaching for it. Okay. Can we get, like, a good picture of him doing that? Or... <laughs> he just looks so angry. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. That's a fantastic picture. Never take taken a better picture in my life. <laughs> I'm kidding. I know that's, like, a horrible picture. Oh, actually, I know what? This one's not so bad. It's not too bad. Not too bad. See, like, if I did that, see how it, like, the trees are in my way. But this isn't, like, the most awfulest picture I've ever taken. <laughs> I don't know. Dang, it's so hard to get him, like, as he's reaching for it, you know? Like that. Ah. Didn't do it fast enough. Right. Watch, watch. Uh, uh, I can't do it. Like, I have to do it, like, right. Um... Right, right now. See, now he knows. Look, he knows I'm trying to <laughs> to get him. Come on in. Dude. Stop messing with your umbrella and finish harvesting. See, he doesn't like me watching him. <laughs> oh, he has to pee. Well, I know, but see, he's so angry at me right now. Ah. One more time. What? Ah. So I want to, I need to get it. And he's peeing himself. All right. Well. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and take a bath. Mom, how are you doing on these mushrooms? We gotta get these mushrooms harvested because these aren't gonna last the winter. So what we really need to do is find the the types of um, you know the types of plants that actually can survive in the winter because there are a couple plants and I know one of them for sure is holly, which would be fun to have. And then I know the other one. I think they're called winter berries or something I don't I, I don't actually know that one like I'm not 100% sure on that one but I know there's another one at least there's at least two more plants that we haven't found and to be honest I don't really know where we could go and find them so it's kind of like I don't know I don't know what to do but yeah so it's nice that they made gardening like a little easier however Doing it like this today, it is feeling kind of like, kind of <laughs> hard to watch sometimes. It's like, yeah, I know I have a huge garden, but still. Anyway, it just takes them so long. But I mean, it do, it is a little more realistic at least now. Um, why don't you come over here and why don't you weed this one and this one. And these look like they're ready to harvest as well. Dad, what are you doing? Um, don't do that, actually. What I need you to do, he's very hungry, so what we can do is have him grab some leftovers, whatever leftovers there are, and then afterwards he needs to come back out here, and he needs to finish harvesting this tree here. Um, I think that's the last one, my last chance to get a really good picture too so I should probably not um oh she is harvesting okay she's harvesting and then she'll weed I guess fair enough fair enough okay here's dad he's eating some franken beans good old franken beans um yeah mom needs to do that stuff the girls are home aren't they yes she is home you know what Clean up your mess and then assist with your project. You guys can both work carefully on that project. 
they're also sad. I don't know what to tell them. It's like, yeah, I'm sorry. This is this is, <laughs> this is the same times, you know. We're we're trying to we're struggling. We're barely getting by here, and we do have to prep. You know, we're this is the last time we're romance festival. We don't go to those things. No such thing as romance festival. This is the 1900s. <laughs> Sometime randomly uh, in the 1900s. And you, you're you going to be all smart and be like, oh, you mean 1999? Ha <laughs> ha. No. <laughs> I mean like early 1900s. <clears throat> Sometime. I don't know. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ugh, I hate that. Whenever I'm talking... <clears throat> rip headphone users i am so sorry but like i know that sounds awful when i clear my voice or yeah clear my throat Blech. anyway hazel's going through a phase blah 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 okay good oh did you just yeah all right well <laughs> oh well let's weed all of these as well he is not happy about it, but that's okay. Mom is almost done, um, like, picking everything, which is good. Um, yeah, the major main thing is we're going to, like, all these onion plants supposedly survive in the winter or grow still in the winter. So what we're going to do, we're going to end up moving our mushrooms. We're probably going to move them into here. So I know that's seems like a little unrealistic um which it is so you know what actually we're not gonna do that we're not gonna we're not gonna cheat and move things Ooh, look at these trees they can all be evolved too okay mom are you done doing that now okay good job now why don't you take a bathroom break go ahead and use that and then you can take a bath and then how about you start making a meal? We can have a nice dinner meal now that we've, um, you know, now that we've bought a nice little table and chairs here so we can have, let's do some mac and cheese. I mean, whenever I think of mac and cheese, I think like right out of the box mac and cheese, right? But, um, do they have mac and cheese? Like what kind of, I, I always say this, I think Frank and beans literally are the most. Now, does this make the price go down? I'm very curious about this. I think I tried experimenting this last time, but if I took all my onions out of my inventory, put them to him. Does it make it, is it cheaper at all to make that meal now? Um, cook meal. Oh, not a grand meal. Yeah, see, it definitely the it definitely cuts the price down. But I don't know how, but how much. Um. But yeah, if we go down to. Oh yeah, that cuts it down to four. Oh, that's a good. That's good. So it does cut the prices down of these items. That's good to know. Um, oh yeah, tilapia. See, if we if we had tilapia, hmm, honey cake, <gasps> honey cake. Ooh, hold on. That reminds me, we really want honey. Oh. Well, um, uh oh, that happened. Why don't you come out here and repair that then? Um, actually, you know what? Dad needs handiness skills, so he's gonna come repair this. And, um, yeah, so I was thinking we need a place to keep the bees, and we have this big old uh shed out here. Now, like I said, it would be fun to, and I don't know if we have the money for it, but it would have been fun to be able to like, quote unquote, close these doors, you know, and by simply, um, you know, like 
walling them off. Um, oops. So then we would do something like, where's my wall tool? Right here. So like I'd go like this, right? And then like this. And then that's like walled off. And I don't like how it, it did that because, oh, yeah, there we go. Um, but so then I'd also have, still have this. But the thing is, it's actually three wide to get this effect. So that's actually not very good. And I didn't really like that idea as much as I thought I would. So mostly because of that, right? Like it's three wide. So it would be hard to like replace those doors. But I wonder if there's like a door. Ooh, these are really nice doors. Look at that. I could put doors like that. It looks so silly though. It doesn't look right. You know what I mean? I wish I had uh, something that would look proper, like a proper, it kind of looks like a barn door. We just need like official barns. Am I right, you guys? We need official barn doors and stuff. Um, but yeah, I like this one because it is three wide. So that's pretty neat. I don't know why I didn't see these before. But these are some nice doors. I wish it came in better colors, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. So yeah, I mean, it's not ideal. <laughs> um, there's also this one. Let's see. I do think I like the cats and dogs ones just a little bit more, if I'm being honest. Oh no, but that is so much. Oh my gosh, those are so expensive. Oh no wonder. Hold on. Oh wow, that is a huge difference. These are fifty dollars and the other ones are five hundred. Oh my gosh. Okay, well we're going with these. <laughs> oh my goodness. I had no idea. Okay, let's do this then. Um There you go. So yeah, it looks a little silly, obviously, but well, we're just going to have to use our imaginations, right? Like, ideally, we would have, like, a really nice, just a full open arch that acts as, like, a real door. But I didn't want to download CC. Like, I could obviously download real CC. I didn't want to. <laughs> um, for example, like this, right? Um, but it wouldn't be as wide. Or, ooh, actually... Something similar to that. See, but then how much are these? Yeah, see, these are so much more expensive. So you can't really beat that it's three wide and it's always only 50 bucks. Like, I, how is that possible? Like, these are some really cheap doors. Like, ridiculously cheap. And Craftsman's doors are not cheap. I feel like those are, I feel like that's wrong. <laughs> But I'm not complaining. So anyway, yeah, we got these. I feel, is there a better color swatch than maybe? No. I think white is the best one. All right, but anyway. <laughs> so you know what I mean. Like, I just didn't want to download CC. So ideally, we would have had, like, a giant arch like this. But we don't even have a three wide arch as far as I know, like, in the game. It's just something that they don't have yet, which kind of sucks. I really wish we had a three wide arch. Um, then again, I don't know about how the weather, like this is technically a three wide arch, but it doesn't even fit. Like, look at that. So anyway, these are the best doors by far. So <laughs> sorry, I didn't want to spend too much time in, in there, but yeah. Uh, oh, and hello. The main reason I did that, though, was so that we could get some bees, because there are actually bee boxes now. Bird, uh, birdies bee boxes. Ha ha ha. Which is funny, because if you guys know, there's like Bert's bees. Now I... Where is it? <gasps> Patchy. We also should have bought a Patchy. We just had no money. But, oh yeah, look at there. Here's our little stump friend. Now that I did that, can I afford the bee boxes? Why can't why can't I see the bee boxes? Oh, is it because I couldn't afford them at all? 
There they are. 265. Okay. Well, we're not getting Apache. We're getting some bee boxes. I actually really like this color. They come in a lot of really cute colors. Um, I have really bad lighting, so I can't really show it off to you guys. <laughs> but um, let's actually get two. Whatever we can afford. There we go. Just barely afforded it. So they've come in like a lot of really cute colors. This is a default color. Um, this nice green. And there's all white, which I like because then the base is like really light too. Um, like this dark gray. This looks like this looks like you could put it out in the back of a haunted house and it would work. Uh, yellow, which is my favorite. Then there's this light brown. Then there's a couple shades of different pinks. This green, which is also really nice, and this one. I actually really like this green one as well. Um, but then the base is pretty dark for me. So I, I really like this one or the pink ones. Um, this more purple, I guess. Those are like my favorites. So yeah. It's interesting how they have both top and bottom change. I kind of wish that they picked either or, honestly. Um, just because that way you'd get more options, but whatevs. Uh, yay, so now we have some bee boxes that we can do something with. Now, it is a little silly that we have those bee boxes in there, but again, it's going to be winter t um, next next time. So um, in the spring, we may move the bee boxes. I haven't really decided yet, but we shall see. So let's jump in. So he's weeding all those, which is, will be good to keep growing more more weeds she's doing that okay so she's got all these mushrooms which we could um let's see so yeah that's gonna be the goal then is to have some honey cake um uh, make some honey cake now tacos is a, only a dollar it's pretty cool party size tacos wow that cuts it huge just by having a mushroom, one mushroom, you guys, that's awesome. I love that. So how much, because how much would normally just one of these sell for? A dollar. So we're saving more money by, by cooking with fresh ingredients, which is awesome. So we shall do that. It is getting late now. Um, luckily, we've gardened all the garden today. Um, now he is not having fun at all but he just reached gardening level five which i am super happy about because yeah we need to max out our gardening skill like that's like there's no tomorrow hey so okay she's sleeping she's not very happy but why don't you clean up that mess and that way you can become responsible so there's also this object here which i am sorry i have not done anything with yet this is more of a springtime object though, so we will get to this, I promise, I promise. But um, in case you don't know what this is, this is the little blue flower arranging table. Um, no, violets are blue flower arranging table, excuse me. So this is a really cute little flower arranging table, but we haven't grown any flowers yet because it is not spring yet. So once we get to spring, we will be growing all of the flowers because we'll have more established our vegetables again the idea is that we eventually get every kind of tree and that these become more like tree groves and then this will probably end up cutting down like we'll probably diversify the crops more so like it will be like I don't know a bunch of trees some flower, all kinds of flowers, and all kinds of vegetables. And just like smaller patches of each, maybe. I'm not really sure. I'm, I haven't decided quite yet. Oh, he fixed it so fast. Okay. Well, thank you. Uh, so why don't you scavenge for a part? Because, you know, free money. Why not? <laughs> um, awesome. I need to throw that away then. And, oof. Put, take to hamper. Oh! <sighs> our hampers are full. Well, we will have to do our laundry in the next part. I feel like, oh, 
we none of us are happy. We're all so sad. It's so dark in here, you know, to be fair. It's very dark. Um, call to Neil. What are they sad about, though? Desolate from low social. Oh, because they haven't, none of them have talked. Okay. Well, we can remedy this. We can do this, you guys. Call the meal. Hey. Call the meal. Everyone come grab a serving. Yes. Grab a serving. Grab a serving. <laughs> They're all so sad. They are all desolate. Well, you know what? Yes. Socially, sure, they're desolate, but it's like, it kind of fits because they're, you know, they're on this kind of difficult farm. Okay, real fast, I want to see, apparently, the ones that are sparkling, you can evolve and see, it just does, it does it on its own now. And if you guys have seen my other videos, I have been, you know, complaining about like, oh, I can't believe... We have to, you know, they have to be there to go evolve it. And they changed it, so that's super awesome. But now you can just click, 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 evolve, evolve. And yeah, super easy. So much easier. Of course, now I have to be the one. Oh, notifications are full. Oops, not the wrong button. Okay. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> it's like telling me every time that they've evolved wow <laughs> well that's annoying I wish there were certain way I don't know see here I am being too picky on my game right but I wish there were certain things that weren't required uh mom oh mom's just spraying okay sure why not oh look at that I think they just changed over didn't they um, it's weird that not all of them are able to evolve, so that's why it feels like they're randomly clicking. It's because there are some that are still not ready to evolve yet, like that one. It's kind of annoying, I'm not gonna lie. Um, evolve that one, evolve that one. Yeah, like that one isn't ready, this one is. But yeah, when they're sparkling like that, supposedly... They're ready to evolve. Um, but they're like all sparkling. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So that one isn't ready to evolve. Okay. Um, they all just need to talk to each other, man. But I have, I was busy, busy, busy as a bee. <gasps> busy, busy bees. In fact, we should go talk to our bees. Um, maybe we can maybe we can be social to our bees. <laughs> um, after I evolve these. Now, hopefully, after I do all of this, you guys, they don't immediately die in the next part. Because, like I said, who knows? Because I am still wondering, you know. Uh, <laughs> whoops. Where are those sparkles coming from? Okay. Um, I am still wondering, like, which... See, I don't like the sparkle effect because it just confuses me sometimes. Like, which one is sparkling over here? Who are you? <laughs> which one needs to be evolved? Okay, you. Weird. <laughs> Anyway, um, before I just spend another 20 minutes on this, let's go, uh, go to see the bees real fast. Oh, they're sleeping. Let's bond with the bees. Shall we? Can we please bond with the bees? Disturb. Hopefully they're not going to be too upset. They are already asleep. Good. You need to go to sleep too, even though I should have had you do your homework. I've been very bad. Um, mood. Yeah. Go to sleep. Oh, she's actually not very. Hey. There's the bees. Let's see. 
Let's see. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Look, check it out, you guys. He's very happy to be bonding with the bees. <laughs> very good. Very good. <laughs> um, all right. So yeah, uh, I feel like once we bond with the bees enough, we'll probably, um, hopefully not get stung to death. <laughs> Hopefully we will get some good honey and that will also be another good thing to be selling throughout the winter because this is the last harvest of mushrooms and apples for a while. Um, in fact, we could plant some mushrooms in here as well. Um, he's getting pretty sleepy though. But yeah, there we go. So what we can do, we could move the mushrooms into here or we could use these fancy little planter boxes that he did, um, you know, make last part. So, you know, why not? Let's do it because I feel like we are going to lose those mushroom crops at the very least. Hopefully, um, or the, at least they may just become dormant or they could die. I'm not really sure. So let's just go. It's too cold to plant. Oh, it's cold in here too, huh? Oh no. Do we have to, do we have to afford a, we don't have the money for that yet. Dang it. Um, shoot. It's too cold to plant in here. Even inside, huh? I thought, Maybe we need a thermostat. We, we probably need a thermostat. And how much does that cost? I'm scared to look. Uh, thermostat. Thermostat. 125. Okay. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Um, let's put that away. Uh, dang it. So, because I just don't want to have to like sell a whole bunch of this, that would be a thousand dollars for all the apples. But maybe we want to use the apples, you know, um, for cooking. And so I don't necessarily want to like sell all the apples. Wish I could like select a certain amount, you know what I mean? Like click and drag and then like have a certain amount that I want, but not all of them. Hmm. Because I need 125 simoleons to keep the inside of the house warm. So, and that means hopefully these poor bees don't die. Because otherwise we'll have to move them into like the actual house. Which, um, just letting you know, I definitely don't recommend moving actual bees into an actual house. I don't think that's a very good, smart idea. But, that may be something that we have to do. Um... You know, I like this little one, but, um, it would like be cool if you could use this one as like an indoor tree or something. <laughs> um, but shoot, what do I sell you guys? What do I sell? Um, okay. I'm going to have to probably come back to this and figure it out, what I can sell, what I should sell. Um, we don't need an upgrade part necessarily. I like this horse sculpture and I was actually going to go sell it. Oh, can't. Oh, let's see. How many mushrooms does she have? Oh, you know what? There we go. So we'll sell these mushrooms because she currently has a bunch of mushrooms as well. And that way, that way we're good, right? Um, and what we actually want to buy then is that thermostat. And that's the last thing I'm doing in this part, I swear, because I'm already over time. I say that every time, every time. Thermostat. Did I spell it wrong this time? Dang it. There it is. Thermostat. Okay, this one right here. So this is what we need in order to keep the uh <laughs> keep it warm in here. So
So let's go ahead and do that. Let's turn it warmer. Sadly, it's gonna cost it's gonna cost us a lot of money to run these. Hopefully, these bees aren't aren't too cold. Um, but yeah, we'll do that and have him plant the little mushrooms in indoors. Cause yeah, you guys saw how much mushrooms, um, how like beneficial it was to cook with mushrooms. So yeah, there we go. So that's all, we're all good, but, uh, he's super tired. He's going to run upstairs and go to sleep, but this has been a pretty productive part. It is officially winter. You guys look at this. It's officially winter now. Um, just turned over. I think every, every time it turns over at like 2 AM, <gasps> this lady, she's in like some wedding dress. So I always think it's like a ghost or something, <laughs> but anyway, um, this is going to be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this part, part seven of seasons. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with this family. I hope you are too. And until next time, I hope you have a lovely day. Thank you.